Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with Bamboo Lab, Maker World's Maker Supply projects. These projects are kits that you can order, which include all of the non 3D printed components required to complete them. The way it works is you pick a project, you download the 3MF files for 3D printing, and then you receive this package in the mail with the components needed to complete the kit. Once you've finished 3D printing the components yourself, you assemble everything and have a complete kit that could be a mouse, a marble run, a wind-up boat, or in today's case, an LED lamp. Together, we will visit Maker World's website, download the files, order the kit, print the parts, assemble the parts, and turn on our very own 3D printed lamp. Before we get started, these are fun little projects that anyone can do. However, some of you have more advanced needs and might need another company to help you bring these advanced projects to life. You might need a complex 3D print or you might need a PCB designed and fabricated. For those advanced projects, you might need to speak to this video's sponsor, PCBWay. Here at PCBWay.com, you can use their PCB design service to design and bring your PCB project to life, even for those who might not yet have PCB design skills. In addition to helping bring your PCB project idea into reality, they can also handle 3D printing. You can use their 3D printing service to print 3D projects or even cases for your PCB projects. They can handle everything from the basic filaments to more advanced filaments such as aluminum, stainless steel, and titanium. Whether it's PCB design and fabrication, 3D printing, or both, the people at PCBWay can help bring your project to life. Also, PCBWay is currently celebrating their 11th anniversary. From the main page, simply click this banner to check it out. Let's pop over to Maker World and get started. Here on BambooLab.com, I will take my mouse and hover over Maker World. We will pop in to Maker Supply. Here on Maker Supply, you can scroll down this page where you will find the LED lamp kit right here, or you can mouse over Maker Supply, Model Kits, and look here. You can also type in to the search box, LED lamp. And there it is. Let's go ahead and click into this. I'm going to choose the OG LEG lamp kit MH001. With that selected, go ahead and add it to cart and they will send you this kit, which includes these parts for assembling and lighting your project. You will find the files required to print at the bottom of this page. Simply scroll down below documentation, below these photos and look for this grid. We are printing the LED lamp and we are going to download the models linked right here. Clicking this link will take you to Maker World where these files are hosted. Keep in mind the models uploaded and created by the designer are marked with a designer tag. Anything not marked with the designer tag has been uploaded by a user. Here you will find the designer has provided type A and type B. To see more about what these are, highlight one with your mouse, then click details. Here you can see the two plates. This is the lamp for type B. Click on type A, click on details, and here you can see the lamp provided for type A. For this demo, I will use type A. I am going to print on an X1 carbon. With your profile selected, scroll down and choose download 3MF. You will notice the 3MF file has begun downloading. Open Bamboo Studio to a blank project and drag that 3MF onto the bed. I'm going to print this in an X1C in an AMS2 using Creality Solian Matte Moonstone Color Changing PLA Filament. I will leave the settings as they were according to the 3MF file I imported. However, I did reduce my speeds just a little bit 
for our safety, and I will send this off to the X1C. In order to save time, I'm going to switch to a Bamboo Lab A1 and print the base at the same time. I will print it in Creality Solien Ocean Blue. This should match the matte moonstone filament nicely. Since the A1's time-lapse feature stinks, I will leave it off. Creality users, yes, you too can make this project. Simply open up Creality Print 6 and drag the 3MF file onto the bed. If this 3MF file opened to a different printer and you had to switch back to K2+, be sure to choose Transfer when it asks you. This will move those 3MF settings to your project with the correct printer. You can make adjustments as necessary. I'm going to leave everything as it is. It will have imported the speed adjustments I made in the 3MF file on Bamboo Studio. And I'm going to send this print off to a Creality K2 Plus. I will be printing in Ace Diddy color changing silk PLA. And here they are, this one on the X1C with Creality solely in filament and this one on the K2 Plus with a Sadidi Silk Blue filament. Both came really nice. With modern printers and modern slicers, you really shouldn't be dealing with stringing. But if you are, simply fire up a heat gun and work it over gently. The stringing will disappear. Let's build the X1C model. Inside the box, you'll find a bag of goodies. In that bag, you've got the LED light, attached to a USB power cable and another bag with verbatim high bond and two screws. Verbatim high bond is really good stuff. However, in order to make it so we can switch this light to other models, we are not going to use it. Here is the light. Here is the cable. And here in the middle is the on off switch. Keep in mind, like many modern USB devices, it does not come with a block. Any cheap USB block will work fine. I happen to have a USB powered port here in my FlexiSpot table. I will plug it in there. Before we plug it in, we have to install it in our lamp. You will simply take the base and pass the wire through the hole. You can pass it through either side because if you look on the bottom, there's a slot for that wire on both sides. Yes, the on off switch will fit through the hole. Feed it all the way through and simply place the disc into the base. Without using any screws or adhesive, you can simply push it back out and swap it to a different base for a different lamp. With the light embedded into the base, simply slide it in to your fixture and turn. To see it work, turn off the lights and press the power button. And there it is, your very own LED lamp. If you've printed multiple, you can simply unscrew the base and screw it in to one of your other lamps. Now I've got two LED lamps with only one kit. I'm Mr. Greg. This is the Bamboo Lab LED light kit and you're on. 3D Rundown.